Hello, Dr. Coker here, and this is a guide to Bardem's Metal. We're basically here to tame a bird. Please like and subscribe. I'm releasing guides for every story dungeon and trial in the game, so you always know what's coming. Let's get started. The first boss is Galura, and he's surrounded by some animals. He has a conal AoE ability called Heave, but there's a marker for it, so just step aside to avoid getting hit. He also has one called Crumbling Crust, but this one is a bit unusual. It will mark every player with a circle, but by the time you can see the circle, it's too late. To avoid this one, you have to start moving while he's casting it before the circle appears. Rush is an ability where he will choose a player, and there will be a line AoE marker from the boss to the player. The further you are from him, the less damage you'll take, so run away. After he charges, he will roar and stomp, which causes all players to be stunned for a short time, and any animals near him will wake up and do an AoE strike. The rams will do line AoEs, the sheep will walk toward players and do circles, and the corals will do very large cones. Just keep moving and you should be fine. The second boss isn't actually a boss. It's an encounter called Bardem where no combat is involved and players can't take any actions aside from movement. There will be three trials to pass to make progress in the dungeon. For the first trial, a golem will spawn and pull all players toward it. Then there will be a center circular AoE followed by a donut AoE, while at the same time a large red eye will appear. So you will have to move outside the center circle at first, then after it goes off move inside that area to avoid the donut AoE, all while looking away from the boss. The red eye can be thought of as a look away marker. After these circles, there will be a quick series of checkerboard AoEs to move around, all while the look away marker is still present. The second trial will begin with poles each player needs to stand on, then players will have these black orbs over their heads and have massive donut AoE markers on the ground, and it's best for everyone to stack or else you will most likely be hit. Then players will have orange markers on them. Players should spread apart and keep moving, as fire will rain down in circles that chase you, and you need to avoid overlapping damage. After this, there will be a circle at the center with a safe wedge, and it'll grow outward. Just stand in the safe wedge. Then four very large circles. If you survive all that, four boulders will be left behind, and you begin the third trial. The third trial begins with some stones being smashed, spawning some stationary adds. At this point, they all do multiple AoEs while the center golem does the same pattern from the first trial. So there are markers all over the place to avoid, and when that is done, most of the boulders will be gone. Get behind a remaining boulder as the third trial ends with a meteor and the boulder protects you from it. The trials are complete. Now on to the third boss. The third boss is Yol. Tanks should face him away from the group as he does frontal cleaves. Wind Unbound is a spell that deals moderate unavoidable damage to all players, just heal through it. You'll see glowing windy orbs around the edge, and they will periodically connect with line markers and do some damage. Just avoid the lines. Flutterfall is a spell that gives players orange markers and then feathers fall on them. Just spread apart to avoid overlapping damage. Eye of the Fierce is another look away red eye. Look away to avoid getting hit with confusion. After some time, the boss will fly away and spawn one eagle ad. While fighting the eagle, the boss will occasionally sweep the floor and do line AoE damage, so keep an eye around the perimeter, making sure he's not about to strike. After you kill the first eagle ad, another one will spawn. But when you kill the second one, the boss will return and once his health gets fairly low, he will become untargetable and instead you can target the left and right wings. At this time, a few new mechanics will take place. There will be circular AoE markers to avoid, constantly spiraling around the edge, and players will occasionally get green markers over their heads. The green marker means you're about to be knocked back to the edge. Once you're knocked back, just make sure you aren't in the path of the spiraling circular AoEs. There will be a lot of markers at this time, but as soon as both wings are dead, it stops. At this point, Yol becomes targetable again, and you can just finish him off. And that's it for Bardem's Metal. 
Good luck with the mechanics, and see you next time.